This is a store tour of the Sears closest to headquarters at the Spring Hill Mall in West D, Illinois. The store originally opened in 1981 and was not built with Sears headquarters close by. Sears headquarters ended up relocating to Hoffman Estates, Illinois at a location 10 minutes away in 1993. Many corporate employees do shop here and the store does get moderately busy. Even when I was here, there, it, was, it was actually kind of busy. I like seeing that as most Sears are struggling, but this one seems to be doing okay. This right here used to be a checkout desk. They only have a few checkouts left in the store, one by the other entrance, one in the jewelry department, and one in the appliance department. They have a very large men's department. One customer base that Sears seems to be doing really well with is immigrants, and this area has a high amount of Hispanic immigrants living in this area, and they choose to shop here for work clothes, because Sears does have a really good supply and selection of work clothes. This particular location has a musty smell to it that is apparent throughout the entire store. I don't know what is causing it, but it just smells kind of off in here. I find the shoe department here to actually be pretty nice. They have a lot of good quality work shoes that it's really hard to find a selection of work shoes like this anywhere else in the area. It appears that they have some ceiling or roof problems because they had to place a bucket out here on the floor and there's some stains on the ceiling tiles. The checkout desk was continuously busy. The mall entrance here is pretty average. But now we are going to go upstairs and check out the kind of depressing upper floor. There is currently nowhere to check out on the upper floor. Actually, the only departments on the upper floor is the optical department, the kids department, about half of the home department, and the Jackson Hewitt tax service. They decided they didn't need a checkout now. This is my local Sears, and I've always found the section behind the elevator to be extremely weird. They're just kind of hiding merchandise back here. It's interesting, though. There weren't really any customers or employees up here at all, so that really made filming easy.
The home department is just super empty. They don't have stuff to fill up the space with. It's been this empty for a few years now. It's kind of sad to see. This section of the home department always used to be filled up with small appliances and gadgets, but they moved it all downstairs last year to try to fill up empty space down there. But they still left the sign up up here. The optical department and the Jackson Hula Hewitt tax service has really just been stranded up here. There's pretty much no signage of it being here downstairs other than the store directory. I was here in November with my dad, and they were doing this thing called the Holiday Blowout, which essentially was a fake liquidation sale to try to drive traffic into the stores. And the store kind of looked like a liquidation sale, and the manager came up to us that day, and she was like, people were f are afraid that we're closing, but we're not. We're just doing a holiday blowout sale to serve our members. The promotion looks like a going out of business sale, but we're not. It's just our holiday theme. Like last year, it was elf tested, Santa approved. This year, it's holiday blowout. Um, we hope we we have no plans to close. Trust me, no plans to close, and we still look forward to serving our members. Have a good night. If you have a Sears near you, you should go in and check it out because a lot of the prices here are actually pretty good. They. If you, a lot better than you would get during a liquidation sale. Say you get this nice shirt here for 80% off now, but you could get it at a liquidation sale for 10% off. You're saving a lot more money just buying it now. In the appliance department, there were a decent amount of employees, and there were plenty of people buying appliances. store manager, whom I quoted earlier, she was over in the microwaves, so I was trying to avoid being seen filming. Based off some of the stuff that Sears puts out on their website, you would think the Sears right near headquarters would be super nice. However, the store, only 10 minutes away, is pretty much just like any other Sears. I really hope Sears can tr try to find a way to make improvements. Maybe like doing something with all that dead space on the upper floor. Maybe make it more appealing. Maybe close off some of it, actually. Just maybe try finding a way to spruce up the store, upgrade the logos, that kind of stuff. And then try to make those changes across the company over time if you can. If you go to Sears' website and try to look up a store, and then you type in Hoffman Estates, Illinois, and you will see that it will recommend you results for Schaumburg, Illinois, which I think is interesting because Hoffman Estates is not Schaumburg. And then your results are going to be different because 
It says the closest store to the Sears Holdings headquarters is the Sears at Woodfield Mall, which is in Schaumburg. The number two is Stratford Square Mall, and the number three is Spring Hill Mall, the one that was just covered in this video. But if you go to Google Maps you will and try to type in Sears Holdings Headquarters to Woodfield Mall, it'd be a 16 minute drive. If you do Sears Holdings Headquarters to Stratford Square Mall, it'd be a 26 minute drive. And you do Sears at Sears Holdings Headquarters to Sears at Spring Hill Mall, it would be a 11 minute drive, much shorter than the rest. This is how the store locator works everywhere. So it's not just in this one case, and I'm not trying to like conspiracy theorize that Sears is trying to direct you to the Woodfield store instead of the Spring Hill store. Not like that at all. It's more or less, I just think they should not be directing people to stores that are not the closest when they're using the store locator. I think it's kind of confusing and misleading. Thank you for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I have lots more content planned out this year, and I also suggest for now, please go and watch my other videos currently on this channel. Thank you.